Okay, but tell me why it feels like we never fucking left here. Tell me why it feels like it's been two days. <laughs> uh, because it has been. True. I'm just glad. I. It doesn't feel real. Like, today just has been a really weird day. So a lot of things happened. <laughs> um... I, that, I haven't filmed anything, mainly because it's like so early in the game and people people don't know me. Like teachers, like some people in my classes don't know me and aren't really kind of grown to the idea and I don't really know how to like approach it, but yeah, a lot of things happened. I had a last minute schedule change yesterday, and so now I'm taking uh, American Law, which is A1. And that was yesterday, and then today, same thing happened, just chilling. I don't know. Hopefully, like, hopefully when ev everything gets settled in, everyone kind of gets used to each other, and I get used to like being more I guess social I feel like then these will be more fun to make and to edit and to watch but right now at this point in time it's a struggle because I don't know what I'm doing It's not Friday anymore. Not only is it not Friday. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Saturday, I was sick. I didn't, I didn't feel good, so I didn't do anything. Sunday, kind of same deal. Monday, I went to the doctor. I had a well visit. And he said, you need a couple of shots. Everybody! So, got them. And then yesterday, um, yesterday was September 11th, so obviously that I did not pick up the camera but yesterday I noticed that my arm the arm that I got the shots in hurt like hell and also like everything around me my entire like abdominal area was so sore and I looked it up and the vaccine that I got that's just one of the side effects so I didn't really think anything of it um, and then this morning same thing, sore, like, n nothing else. My throat hurt like a bitch. My, n like, nose was stuffy. I had, um, I don't know if you can constitute it as a fever, but it's not great. And I looked just to look and see how the, um, two shots were healing. It was ba- like, if you've ever watched Supernatural, it's the first episode of season four um, where Dean like sees the um, hand mark on his arm. That's basically one, what it felt like, two, what it looked like, and three, about my reaction. Oh my god. But all of that aside, I am still here. This lovely institution on this fine day. It's so foggy out. It looks like Silent Hill. Like, I, f I feel like I'm playing Silent Hill. I'm waiting for a jump scare. And honestly, just this entire, like, week has felt like a simulation. Which is great! I love it here! So, I'm gonna go in. So... It's Friday. My hair is dark. It's dark now. I've just had a day where I couldn't really do anything more than just keep myself alive. 
I've been sick all week. And I've just been tired and stressed and nervous about everything, always, forever. And I was driving home and I realized I have an ungodly fear of change. I don't know why I'm holding onto my wheel. I have an ungodly fear of change. Like, there's... That is my number one fear. It's, you know, it's not spiders, it's not death, it's not anything, it's just change. And this year is gonna be bringing a lot of people in and out of my life. It's going to be bringing a lot of change. And I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. And it scares the shit out of me. Like, it's so fucking scary. It's not even in the way of, like, I don't know where I'm gonna go to school yet. It's, like, these people that I love so much. These people that I've built such close relationships with are, are becoming out of my reach. And I don't really know how I'm gonna handle that. I feel like this entire year is going to be me trying to, I guess, cope with it and deal with the change and take it in strides, but it's so hard. It's so hard when the people that you've called, like, your closest friends since however fucking long are suddenly ghosts, are suddenly strangers, are suddenly not who they used to be, and you're not who you used to be. And it's so terrifying to think about 